The next morning, James was still in hospital. So Jeremy and I got back on the road, our thoughts very much on the tragic events of the day before. It's funny how these things affect you afterwards. I mean, that was traumatic. Running down that tunnel and seeing at the end of it, that fabulous car, wounded. Just thinking, Hammond, you know, you've crashed countless cars over the years, and it doesn't really matter because they're just metal and plastic and glass, but the Evo's more than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not a car that you crash or ding in the usual way. It's, it's a car that, that gets injured because there's so much passion wrapped up in it from a lot of people. And what's worse for me is I've lost my playmate. Uh. Yeah, I've lost the, my car's natural sparring partner, the one car that could keep up with it, live with it. I'm in an Audi Quattro. It's not an Audi Quattro, it's not a rally car. Stung by Hammond's criticism, I made a proposal. What if I could find a, a rudimentary wilderness workshop and turn it into a rally car? All right, well, if you can find one and do that, I'll do the one thing I can do to improve my car and give it more power, then we're on. So if I yobbify my car and you up the power of yours, then they become natural rivals. Then we are talking. Right, set, set, nav. With our modding plan agreed on, we hunkered down and headed for the Swedish border.